What's going on YouTube? Back again with another DB session. Gonna add a lot of speed work here doing NFL combine slash pro day prep. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, dropping crazy videos every single week. Let's get into it. Um, the first couple of these are gonna be basically 10 yards of movement followed by a 10 yard burst. So we're gonna start, we're just going high skips. So just make sure you're getting off the ground, reacting. And it's tough, like someone like me, cause I'm like a little bit shorter, but the fastest 40s that were ever ran, they were ran like 19 steps. So if you can film yourself running 40s and count your steps, like you should be getting 19 to 20 steps. So if you're hitting like 22, you can get a step down and like that will dramatically increase your 40s. You got long legs. You can really work to actually like gain ground. We'll work on it with the uh, bounce here. We're gonna go um, probably two reps each movement. And we're doing these just react off the ground fast. <clears throat> High knees, just take it off. Just go one at a time. There's no need to rush through this, especially you're not anywhere. Fast transition, just emphasize it now. It won't change your life, but they will prep you for max speed. <laughs> The best way to do those is by really like leaning backwards and like really making your toe have to pull you forward so I get the most out of it. I wanna see you do it, so you go this time. First, pull, 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 pull. Good. Going single leg bounds, one leg's going, the other knee's just driving as you go. Yeah, really just emphasize your knee when you're going there because this is what's driving you forward. You're skipping, that knee's really pulling you forward. So back for yeah, just like you're running. Start back. Better. When you're doing it, it's the same arm action. So as this leg pulls, this hand's coming up. You know what I mean? So up tall, driving back, and when I, I'm up tall, I'm here, and then I'm driving back, arm switches. Here, pull, pull, pull. <sighs> yep, pull, good. When you're doing this 10 yards followed by 10 yards, don't get to the first 10 yards and feel like you have to sprint right now. So I noticed is like you were on that single leg skip and then you kind of got to 10 and then you short stepped it and then got into a sprint. Like make the work that we're doing transition you into a sprint. So if I'm past it, drive. Now I'm just into the sprint. Just make that as fluid as possible. If you have to push it more, that's fine. You're gonna see that with the uh, with the bounds we're gonna do now, because you're bound, you know, you're only going 10 yards. You're gonna, it's gonna take you four or five bounds to get there. So it's going to push you past this. So bounds, just really focusing on driving. I really wanna see you do this. So just give me one second. Really pushing out as far as you can. Oh yeah. Really make sure you're doing that like three times a week. That's really good because that's what's gonna get you distance on your 40 and make that 20 step 40, that 19 step 40. If you get 19, that's the best 40 ever ran. So that's what you should be aiming for. Drive, 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 drive. Good, yeah. Your transition right there was just so smooth in the running. That's where it really applied. So you could do all the movements in the world. You can't translate them to the actual sprint. They're really worthless, you know what I mean? Basic push up start. We're just really going 10 yards here, then cruise after. Try to get like four good bounds. I'm gonna go one each leg. I like to tuck my toes. <laughs> I 
That was smooth. That was really smooth. But I think what you did, jumped up with this foot forward. Try to keep that back foot back because again, the whole, the whole purpose of this is to mirror an actual part of your drill. So when you're here and you're in this right here, this is like one step after your get off 40. So this is really working on your first step. So you really want to get into this position here, leave that back leg, because that's got to really come out and really propel you forward while you're staying low. The best part about the push up is you're starting so low, it's easy to stay low. Let's go one rep on the left leg. Good. Yeah, that was better. It's gonna be half kneeling. So whatever, whatever way you run your 40, I want that foot up. So kind of just like a 40 stance, all you're doing is pushing this knee forward as far as you can. And then again, this leg is the one driving. So it's gonna look like this. So get your arms right, get your arms coordinated. It's like a 40, this hand's going up, leaning forward, lean, 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 right when you're about to fall on your face. That's gonna happen because you're so low, right? You're like, you're way down here trying to get that. And it's easy for you to short step that foot, but that's why it's important for you to drive off your lead leg to get you distance. Before you focus on getting this foot out, focus on getting there and driving off that, just like that power bound, that power skip, use that lead leg to really drive off of, and then you can get out. I think your first step like landed here and that's why you stumbled, because you're already over your step. So do that again and really focus on that lead leg. Good. Yeah, we're not running a 40, but what I do want to see is we're gonna do build up. So I want to see a 40 stance. I want to see violent steps, but again, focused on striding it out. Once you hit the yellow, now your max effort speed to the other yellow. And then decel after that. Stride, 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 hit it. Boom. Good. All we're really gonna do is two and then one max effort one all the way to the orange, like a full 40 untimed. I wanna see, it was good speed up there, but I wanna see when you hit that yellow cone, I wanna see a change in gears. Like you're really hitting that top speed. This is like a flying. This is prep for your 40, actual 40 get off. So like take it seriously, cause when we get to the 40, I don't wanna run two. If we can run two, if we have to, that's fine. But take your, you know, your stance, your setup seriously here, and then take your first couple of steps seriously, and then really just start focusing on driving, 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 like getting distance, opening that stride as much as you can. Then when you hit that yellow, now it's like, boom. I just really need to see a shift in gears there. Stride, nice, yeah. Probably be beneficial too, just to do a little 10 yard burst, to get off. Just focus on that first three steps, driving out. Good. So, pedal, it's gonna be start with a slow pedal, so it's creep. Creep, and then I'm gonna accelerate you. So set, go here, creep, flip, 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 creep, go, flip, flip, flip. Horrible ball by me. Two things, one, again, when you creep, I wanna see different, I think you just jumped it, you were creeping, then I said flip and you flipped. So it's gonna be creep, pedal, flip, 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 and go. And when you go, stare until I say ball. Stare, ball, now jump and get it. Or at least give me a couple steps out. I don't know how good my ball call is gonna be, but everybody in the, in the draft, that's what they did because they're getting the receiver. So go creep, pedal, flip, flip, back. Ball, horrible ball. I'll get you next rep. I'll go one to give you a break and then we'll go one more smooth one on that. Creep, pedal. That's fine, that's not a bad ball. I'd rather you have to run for it, try to get under it. Because again, this isn't a play you're supposed to make. It's the whole point of the drill. You're playing like deep half, it's in the other guy's half, you're just going. Go, creep, pedal, flip, flip, go. 
go. Ball. Good. One more rep here. Hopefully they catch them, we'll flip it, switch it up. We'll probably just do one rep each way for now, or one movement each way. And then if you want to come back later and do it, we're gonna get some 5-10-5 5 working as well. No, that's good. Gotta adjust off it. There you go. Pedal, pedal, flip, flip, flip. That was really good. That was your best rep by far. I think it was my best ball by far. I don't know if it's gonna get better than that. Say go, pedal, break. Good. Pedal, break. Ah, just have to be under control. This is really DB work, you know what I mean? This is really like corner work. When you're doing this in front of scouts, like at the NFL draft, it's cornerbacks go through this first and it's like clean, 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 clean. And then the safeties are doing it and it's really not the same. Say so go pedal, break. It's not the fact that you can't catch, it's the fact that your break was bad. You just have to pick. So that time you went turnover step and it was sloppy. If you're gonna turnover step, then turnover step. If you're gonna T-step, then T-step, you know what I mean? Just master whatever you got, whatever you want, because everybody's really different. And when you break, just like we did on that last week when we are one, two, it has to be a weight shift to that back leg. You can't just stick your leg back out here and just like push, you have, no, you have nothing. That's why you're slipping, you're going stiff leg back here. It has to be foot in the ground with knee bend, now slide, drive back downhill. So sink yourself, just like a wide receiver, you're doing the same thing here. Pedal, break, better, good. Accelerate through this one. Pedal. Break. Good. Great. Set, go. Break. Reset. You're getting halfway between a turnover and a, and a, a T step. A T step doesn't work unless it's a full T. And you're going like this, and all you're getting is this front part of your cleat, which is why it's slipping. If you're going to T step, that full foot has to go back there. If you're going to turn over, that full foot has to stay pointed forward. Set, go. Break. Good. Nice, 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 nice. Say go. Break. Good. Good stuff. So much better. Because what you utilized is that one, two, then T step. Slow down. Boom. Instead of just going, which is why you're slipping, you got that one deceleration step. Boom. Slows you down just enough to get an effective break. And again, it's worth getting an effective break on a good angle versus rushing it and then getting a horrible break that you're slipping on that's early because you end up being late to it anyways, you know what I mean? And then it's basically gonna be a five yard pedal, just wait on me, and I'm gonna say here, 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 90 degree break out, here, 90 degree break out, all right? Again, you need that one, two, break, effective. Pedal, here, good. Now just give me upfield, you know what I mean? Catch it, it's turn. This is, this is easy, we're gonna build off of this. So we'll just go one to one, we'll probably go two reps, three reps maybe. Switch it up. Pedal. Pedal. Here. Good, Derek. Nice. Pedal. If you can get me that, if you can get me that, all the better. Here. I point this way, snap back. See it. Pedal. Break. Good. Nice. Good body control. And again, as you're pedaling here, fight to be as low as you possibly can. Because then when it matters and you're not thinking about it, you'll naturally be a little bit lower than you normally are. Same thing. Building off of that. Pedal. Break. Here, point. Back. Breaking back. Cha, 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 cha back for the ball. Let's go. Here. Back. Good. And bro, that's really cre that's clean movement for your size. Like that's that's so clean. You cannot compete with a 5 foot 9 DD who's 170 pounds. Uh, 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 
Zo. Hier. Weg. Why do you think that happened? You, did, you just rushed that. You rushed the second part. They might do it again. They might take you all the way over there. Just go. You know what I mean? Better for them to be wrong than for you to be wrong. So let's do that one more time. It's not because you can't catch. Yeah. It's because you rushed that and then it's just a domino effect. Uh, pedal. Here. Break. Good. Took you a little bit longer to get out of the brake, but it was more effective. Creep, pedal, open, drive, crossover, back downhill, right here. Me a little bit more open than that, but that's about it. Creep, pedal, open. Ah. Ah. Patient, don't anticipate. Creep, pedal, break, downhill. All this break is, is this one two three you say break i might have to take a one two together it's just one two break and all of these breaks so i do the ring stuff because all the same thing and a lot of the stuff here just like you were saying about the five ten five the five ten five is the same thing it's cross touch break same thing same exact so just sink yourself and that's how you're gonna get a break out of it okay. Sink yourself. When you hear break, one, two gathered, now go. Sink and go. Creep, pedal, break, downhill. A lot better than your second rep or your first rep. If we do one more, you gotta get it right. Decel on this and break. And I actually got a cool workout for you I discovered the other day. I was training for your 5, 10, 5 and everything because it's all the same thing. It's like a goblet hold. It's like, it's weird. You gotta be really light and careful about it, but this, is everything is being able to drive because this is your decel and driving back this way if this leg can't decel you have a bad tendency to get back to this and then it's slow and you're stuck in the mud if this can decel you and you can put that in the ground then you're good to go open break good good Creep. Puddle. Open. <laughs> Also, I think the brakes are generally not great right now. It's because we're both so worried about getting out of the brake and getting the ball. Get out of the brake, get on your line, and then get the ball. Creep, pedal, open, break, get out. Cleaner. Creep, pedal, open. That's a that's a big that's a big thing. I tell the same thing my wide receivers when they're running routes. When you brake, accelerate like you're running a 40 yard dash first, and it'll just naturally make your brake so much better because if you worry about the ball, you're gonna be sloppy getting out of your brakes. Just focus on this, not your brake. Let's do one more. Get this one clean, accelerate, creep, pedal, open, back down. Good, best rep, let's go. 